AMD's Radeon R9 Fury X release was highly anticipated and is their first high-end card in almost two years following the R9 290 series. It is based on a new core named Fiji which utilizes a new memory type known as HBM or high bandwidth memory. The form factor and lower power consumption is particularly interesting to me because I'm looking at building a new small form factor PC in my N-Case M1 ITX chassis. I had high hopes for this card even though there's a lot of controversy surrounding its release. Number one, its performance. It wasn't really a 980 or 90 Ti killer, but it offered significant performance improvements over a regular 290X. Number two, the graphics card output layout. This card comes with three DisplayPort and one HDMI 1.4a outputs, whereas my setup requires multiple dual-link DVI outputs. Back about two or three years ago, there was a craze surrounding these Korean brand 27-inch 2560x144 monitors, which offered the same panel as found in many high-end Dell and Apple displays. Adding one more layer of complexity to my setup, I purchased a Yamakasi Catleap quote-unquote 2B overclockable monitor. This allows me to push the display up to 120Hz, which was unheard of at its time. An active display port to dual link DVI adapter is required to connect my monitor, and a special version with 3D support, which costs over $100, is required to overclock. One more issue is that when you push past 360MHz pixel clock, it reverts to 6 bits per color due to display port 1.1 limitations. On Windows 10 and Catalyst 15.7, I ran into issues as early as 330MHz, where anything above I could not select the refresh rate. And finally, number 3, pump noise. Many of the early reviews noted that the Fury X came with an early production sample of a Cooler Master pump for the all-in-one system. This was supposed to have been fixed by the time the cards reached retail channel for regular consumer purchases, but for my card, I got the whining pump. If you're wondering what that high pitch whine was at the beginning of this video, that, my friends, is a Fury X pump. I've set up one of my secondary systems in order to show you the noise differences between the R9 Fury X, a 780 Ti, and the system without a video card installed using the Intel integrated graphics chip. The system has a 4790K clocked at 4.5GHz cooled by a Thermalright HR02 Macho with a Cougar PWM fan installed. The fan profile in the BIOS is set to silent, and the system is powered by a Corsair AX750 power supply. First, I'll start by ramping the fan speed up and down so you can get an idea of the fan noise profile. The fan appears to be a Nidec Gentle Typhoon variant. Next, I'll stop the fan so you can hear just the pump alone. And finally, noise samples for startup, a stress test, and a shutdown. A reference 780 Ti is a fairly common configuration, so I figure it's a good base for comparison. And finally, the system without a video card, so you can get an idea of the noise floor.
so there it is, the Radeon R9 Fury X. I did ask the manufacturer for an RMA, however they had no ETA for new stock. In light of this, I actually returned the card to my retailer for a full refund and opted to purchase a card from Team Green. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, thank you for watching.